What does the future hold for the price of Bitcoin? We're going to take a look at some numbers, dive deep on some stuff. It's going to be fun. Hit the like, hit the follow. Let's get at it. The first thing we need to look at is the lifetime price chart of Bitcoin. Look at that. Up only. There's July 2010 is where this chart starts. And of course, up there on the right is where we are today. And each one of these blue lines is a halvening event. Do you know what the halvening is? The halvening is when the amount of Bitcoin that can be mined per day gets cut in half. It happens once about every four years. It's a major impact on prices. But will it continue to have a major impact going forward into the future? Let's look at that. The rate of return after each halvening has been diminishing after every halvening. So that's interesting. Now, this, the demand for Bitcoin has certainly gone up over all this time, too. That's really pushing up the price action. But are the halvening events really going to have as much of an impact going forward? And it's dependent on multiple factors. That's what I really want to dive into on this video. So here's some very important things to know. It's important to realize that about 90% of all Bitcoin has already been mined. So in terms of supply and demand dynamics, supply is already at 90% of its capacity. But demand is certainly going up and has been going up and I project it to continue going up. With that said, we're currently mining 900 Bitcoin per day. When the next halvening happens in about March, April 2024, we'll go down to 450 Bitcoin per day. And these are all the rest of the halvenings after they happen, how much Bitcoin is going to be mined per day. As you see, the number gets really small. So that again, that asks me, hmm, how impactful is the mining of Bitcoin even going to be in the future? And all Bitcoin will be mined in roughly the year 2140. Now, like I said, we've been having diminishing returns from having event to having event. Right here, this one got to about 1150. After this having event, this got to about 20K. So that's about a 17X. And so far since the last one, we've gotten to about 69K from 20 to 69K. So that's about a three and a half X return. Now, I don't know if this bull run is over, but so far it's showing the trend of diminishing returns. It still goes up, but it goes up less and less relative to the previous high in the last having cycle. Now, another important thing to notice is that the drops. So are the lows changing here? We had about an 85% drop here. We had about an 85% drop so far here. We've only had about a 58% drop. That's interesting. But again, I don't know if this cycle is over yet. We won't really be able to confirm that until we get closer to the next having cycle, which again is in about eight, March, April, 2024. Be sure to follow for part two. That's all I can fit in a three minute TikTok. So I have to do a part two. We're going to look at some other really interesting stuff like what are the miners doing? Do they hold their Bitcoin? Do they sell their Bitcoin? What are the adoption rates of Bitcoin? That's going to really help us gauge supply and demand and crypto in general. And we'll dive deeper to answer the question. And we'll try to figure out how much effect having events will have in the future.